Question number 31. The initial momentum of an object can be represented by this arrow. The initial momentum of the other object is zero. The two collide, and then there's an initial, a final momentum of the system, which is what we're trying to find. Now, considering the second object is at rest, the initial momentum of the system looks just like this. That's the total initial momentum of the system. Now, during, considering momentum is conserved during a collision, the final momentum is going to be equal to the initial momentum of the system. So this also represents the final momentum of the system. So the question is, which of the sets of arrows add up to this, which is both the initial and final momentum of the system? Answer A. Notice that they are equal and opposite in direction, and therefore when you add the two together, you actually get zero. So A cannot be it. Notice for B, when you do tip to tail and vector addition for both of these, they add, actually add up to something that's almost twice what the initial momentum is, so this can't be it either. When you do tip to tail vector addition for C, you get something that's actually small and to the left, so that can't be it. The resultant vector for D, which I've drawn in blue just to make it more clear where it is, uh, isn't going to be the initial momentum vector either. It's going to look something like this, so this can't be it. In E, you can see that, when, again, when we do tip-to-tail vector addition, the resultant vector looks pretty close to what it was for the initial momentum. So the final momentum equals the initial momentum, and E is the one that best matches. So the correct answer is E.